The latest announcements by the DAA are wasteful, unnecessary expenditure which will do huge damage to the Irish economy. Let's take a look. 1. An unnecessary tunnel that nobody wants. It's DAA tunnel vision. 2. No plans for expansion of gates or stands to increase capacity, which is what the economy needs. 3. Zero environmental incentives. There are no environmental incentives at Dublin Airport to reward airlines who invest in newer, environmentally friendly aircraft. 4. Price increases of 45% that will make Dublin uncompetitive, damaging connectivity, tourism and jobs. Let's take a look at each of these. At a time of over budget and drawn out public works projects, the DAA has announced plans to spend 250 million euro on a tunnel under the taxiway between the two main runways at Dublin Airport. DAA claims that it will provide access for airport employees, emergency personnel and cargo on both sides of the runways. But these claims are false and don't hold up to scrutiny especially when that expenditure could be diverted elsewhere at the airport for the benefit of passengers and the economy. So let's take a look at the DAA's tunnel vision excuses for wasting taxpayers' money. 1. Airport employees do not need a tunnel. The small number of employees who need access already do so at the west end of the airport via the N2 road infrastructure. 2. Cargo do not need an underground tunnel to cross Dublin Airport. The west apron has no activity that requires a tunnel. All cargo activity is here on the east side of the airport. If cargo was ever to move to the West Apron, it could simply use the existing road access infrastructure already in place. 3. The airport fire brigade won't use this tunnel. Even when the taxiway was a single runway, emergency services had to cross it regularly, and they've done so effectively for the last 50 years. Why is it any different now when it's a taxiway? A tunnel cannot and will not be used by the fire brigade. For example, to attend an emergency at Pier D, it would take too long to reach, with the fire brigade doubling back on itself. Crossing the taxiway currently happens every day of the week at Dublin Airport. No tunnel is required. If an increase in traffic is needed, it's normal to have a taxiway crossing for safe and easy access. It's not normal to build a 250 million euro two-way four-lane tunnel the size of the Dublin Port Tunnel. And it's not acceptable to build something that serves potential future cargo traffic only and have commercial airline passengers foot the 250 million euro bill by needlessly hiking up Dublin Airport charges. The two largest airlines at Dublin don't want or need this tunnel. Let's take a look at the alternatives which exist at Cologne Bonn Airport, home to best in-class airport infrastructure and home of EASA, the European Aviation Safety Agency. It is also one of Europe's largest cargo hubs and is also a Ryanair base. Cologne Airport uses a taxiway crossing system, not dissimilar to gates on a railway. Traffic lights, barrier gates and traffic management all work effectively to allow both cargo and operational access while aircraft taxi to the runway. The DAA needs to stop this senseless waste of money and capital expenditure at Dublin Airport. There is simply no requirement or activity currently on the West Apron that requires an investment of €250 million Euro for a tunnel that will go nowhere when that money could be used elsewhere. So let's take a look at where that money could be spent. The DAA manages a vital part of national infrastructure for an island economy that needs low-cost access to support a growing economy. Bizarrely, the DAA have no current plans to expand gates and capacity and seem to have tunnel vision only. Additional capacity and extra gates are what's needed now, which could easily integrate into the existing infrastructure on Terminal 1, expanding more contact stands, more gates, more connections and more growth for the economy. The last major investment by the DAA in terminal infrastructure was Terminal 2, which was built by the DAA and opened in 2010, but it's the wrong building in the wrong place and was built in a format that can't be expanded. Terminal 2 cost 2 billion euro and now airlines located in Terminal 2 are in a building in a cul-de-sac that can't be expanded. The DAA is also looking for extra charges for security when they could hire an extra 8,000 personnel for the price of this massive waste of capital expenditure on a pointless tunnel. The DAA have a track record of building expensive infrastructure in the wrong place for the highest price and expect passengers to pay for it. These ill-thought-out vanity projects drive away connectivity and growth in jobs and tourism for the Irish economy by driving up access costs. Let's take a look at these costs. The DAA want to increase costs by 45% between now and 2026. Increasing costs shrink traffic. Fact. Let's look at what happened in Germany post-COVID when they increased airport and security costs. This policy clearly demonstrates that high and growing airport costs push away airline investment that migrate capacity to lower cost airports with better incentives on offer to attract investment. Germany is the worst recovered aviation market in Europe at 75% of pre-COVID traffic. Why? Because costs have increased dramatically. Key German aviation and airport stakeholders, such as the German Air Navigation Services, the Federal Associations of German Airlines and German Airport Association have all blamed Germany's high airport costs for preventing Germany's recovery, damaging their economy and connectivity. 
Airlines can move their capacity, and they won't locate aircraft and routes at airports in Germany that are increasing costs. If it happens like this in Europe's largest economy, it's going to happen in Ireland, and much faster. The Irish government spent millions of euro on a well-thought-out traffic recovery scheme post-Covid. That scheme was hugely successful, with Dublin traffic rapidly recovering to over 100%, with Ryanair traffic recovered at Dublin to 117% of pre-Covid levels. The DEA's management team will now unwind all of those benefits by increasing charges by 45% and building unnecessary and unwanted infrastructure. The DEA are now actively working against government policy of supporting growth with low-cost sustainable access. The DAA's increased costs will drive away traffic, connectivity, routes, jobs and tourism. The DAA tried to justify its price increases continuously by making invalid comparisons with other airports' costs. Dublin isn't Heathrow and will never be Heathrow. It's an absurd comparison. Heathrow is a massive hub for long haul. Dublin is located on an island in the northwest Atlantic and needs low-cost access to remain competitive and to make Ireland's economy competitive. Dublin is an airport that competes with other European airports, but if it increases costs in one stroke, it undermines the work of the Irish government TRSS scheme that fully recovered traffic post-COVID. The DAA don't understand that they are not managing their own infrastructure, they are managing national infrastructure for all of us. The DAA compares itself with other airports, but misleadingly they omit that these comparisons are published charges. They aren't comparing like with like, as these airports have growth incentives that lower charges. The DAA don't make this comparison because they have no growth incentives. To expose the DAA commentary on charge, Dublin airport charges are 250% higher than the average Ryanair airport charge, and 70% of Ryanair traffic goes through main European airports, which is more main European cities than any other airline in Europe. Fact. In short, a 45% increase in charges with no incentives undermines government policy and the growth of the Irish economy and will drive away traffic, jobs and investment, and that decline starts today. To compound matters on charges, there are no environmental incentives at Dublin Airport to reward airlines such as Ryanair, who will invest almost $40 billion in new aircraft over the next 10 years. Dublin could be a world leader in environmental charging, which would be cost neutral, by incentivizing airlines with larger, more fuel efficient aircraft and penalizing airlines that don't make this investment. Sound simple? It is. It would also be straightforward given that uniquely the minister in charge of the DAA, Eamon Ryan, is also minister for the environment but sadly, nothing has happened. The decarbonisation of aviation is a significant challenge that the industry is currently facing. Ryanair continues to focus on environmental efficiency, resulting in our CO2 intensity dropping to below pre-COVID levels. In order to further lower CO2 emissions per passenger and help meet our 2050 net zero goals, Ryanair placed an order for 300 Boeing 737 MAX 10 aircraft. These aircraft will reduce noise by 50%, lower fuel burn by 20%, and carry 20% more passengers. The DAA, in their wisdom, have no functioning environmental incentive that actually attracts traffic. With no environmental incentives, alongside the DAA's high costs and proposed increases of 45%, today, Ryanair announces it will remove 17 routes and all 19 of our newest, lowest CO2 and noise emissions game-changer aircraft out of Dublin to other European airports, who want and value less CO2 emissions and quieter aircraft. In summary, the DAA is damaging the Irish economy, jobs, connectivity and tourism. And this is 1. Making Dublin Airport uncompetitive by hiking up airport charges by 45%, which will drive away capacity, connectivity and jobs, just as it has done in Germany. 2. Is offering airlines no incentives to grow traffic. 3. Is offering no environmental scheme to reward investment in quieter, more fuel-efficient aircraft that carry more passengers. 4. Unwinding the government's work, the TRSS scheme, to recover traffic. 5. The DAA pricing and environmental policy is combining to drive away investment with the loss of 17 routes and 19 environmentally efficient aircraft. The DAA needs to stop building useless vanity projects and making ridiculous comparisons with airports such as Heathrow and start using growth and environmental incentives that will actually drive traffic, support the economy, tourism, connectivity and jobs into Ireland. The DAA's tunnel vision is bad for passengers, bad for jobs, bad for connectivity and bad for the Irish economy.